Hello everyone, a nice little video clip for you here showing a 2S5 giant synth self-propelled howitzer being destroyed by a Ukrainian FPV drone. So you can see on the video, the giant synth is observed driving into the shrubberies. So this is its hiding spot, not its firing position. There's a small cut in the video. Then we see an FPV drone is called in, which whizzes into it. It's possible there is another FPV drone strike as well. As a spotter drone, records a small explosion which could be a second strike or it could be a munition detonation. Can't tell for sure. But either way, whether one or two drones hit this, the giant synth sets on fire. So this artillery piece clearly destroyed. So let's have a look at where this was. So the giant synth was in the tree line shown here. The FPV drone that hit it came from the south as shown on this map. And here it is zoomed out. So this was in some fields in the middle of a number of settlements in Zaporizhia district. The closest settlements being Belokke and Voskosenka. This was the giant synth's hiding spot, now its firing point, but I've shown the coverage of one from this rough area. So when it drives off to fire somewhere, you can see this how it would be able to hit targets all along the front lines in this region in Zaporizhia quite easily. This is on the southern front. Here's a photo of a 2S5. It's a 152mm howitzer. Basically a howitzer cannon strapped to the chassis of a SA4 Krug SAM system. They're a bit rarer in Ukraine than other systems. 67 are on Oryx so far. So less number losses of this compared to say the Vozdaika, the Akat Saya and the Mr. B. Russia had just 114 of these in service at the start of the war. So a big chunk of the active fleet is gone. But Russia did have a number said to be around 800 in reserve. But of that reserve number, of course, not all of those will be ready for combat. Many of them will be just rusting, rotting hulks. So that's it for this video. Thanks very much for watching and take care, everybody.